What's up, Goob Gang? It's your boy Goob back with another video today. And today I have another new Switch Strike Beyblade. Again, this one is from Amazon, just like the Asteroid Zutron was. And this one, again, actually seems like it's gonna be pretty good because they've actually seemed to have given the gimmick to Treptune in the layer, which are basically just like these rubber pieces that are supposed to help it absorb hits and make it better for like defense. It is a stamina type, however, but it has some defense elements to it. So, so I'm also going to put this up against the Treptune T4, which is right here. And I'm going to compare it to this one and battle it against this one because I want to see if they really improved it or not. So you can see the parts right in the front, uh, the back, you can see, uh, the parts again and the stats are here it has a lot of stamina so definitely a stamina type they gave it edge for some reason instead of wedge um which kind of stinks because one of the coolest things about this beyblade was the driver because it had this metal tip driver and it was actually pretty fun to use so it kind of stinks that they got rid of that and they gave it edge which is one of the worst drivers uh, so and you can see the gimmick here which they actually did give it so it has like these um, they call it shock absorbing ring, um, but basically it's just like little rubber rubber pieces on each point here uh, to help it absorb hits. So it actually, so it's basically just supposed to help it against attack types. And let's just open this up. I'm really excited because the colors actually look pretty cool. They're definitely different from the original, which I like. So we got the launcher, which I won't really end up using. Okay, here are the parts out of the box, and I actually really like this Beyblade because with the gimmick, it's just so much bigger, um, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a second, but let's just go over all the parts. So, here is Tide Treptune T3. Honestly, the colors actually work in my opinion. It's like yellow and blue, and they actually gave it a lot of details, which they don't usually do, like these um, blue prints on the uh, like wings here and then just this huge blue piece in the middle and the red in the middle it looks really good they even put a little bit of yellow um, and black accents here I just really think they did a good job with the overall colors of this Beyblade and you can see these are the gimmicks so this piece right here these little black pieces are basically the gimmick that, that they didn't give the previous one and they don't do a lot but they add a, they definitely add some weight and add some bulk to the Beyblade which is good. Next we have 8 Bump. So Bump was not given to the turbo version of this Beyblade but it's definitely part of the actual Beyblade and was in the show. So I'm glad they gave it uh, Bump this time because Bump is a very good frame because it's really heavy. And then Edge which I've already talked about and I'm not happy about because they really should have given it Wedge because it would have added some weight to it and it would have just really been accurate to the anime uh, version of the Beyblade. So let's put it together and see what the slopes are like. Hopefully they're better than the, uh, the original one or the turbo one. Okay, it's like average slopes, I would say. Not amazing, not terrible. And now we're going to compare it with the turbo version so just right off the bat when you look at these two you can see like a huge difference this is all just plastic here and then they just put a little paint on it on where the gimmick would be basically and you, this is not plastic this is like rubber if you feel it so that's a huge difference I'm gonna weigh them too because this one's definitely a lot heavier and let's just take them apart I don't know if you guys can tell but the switch strike one looks a lot bigger and again they got rid of the god chip in the middle just like with the Asteroid Zutron. For some reason they're getting rid of the god chips and putting something over it. So it's actually like a redesign a little bit. I think it looks really cool, honestly. Uh, I think this one looks a lot better than the turbo one. Let's weigh these two because these are definitely different in weight. Look at this. There's a huge hole right here, okay? Then look at this one. No hole there because that's where the gimmick is. So that's definitely going to add some weight. We're going to weigh the layers and then we're going to weigh them like with their complete combos. 10.5. 58 grams and now we have the switch strike layer 12.43 grams so it's about two grams heavier that is awesome the other big difference 
is that this has bump, this doesn't come with bump, and then the drivers are different. So they actually tried to give it wedge on the turbo one, but they had to make it like hollow and give it a plastic tip because they wanted it to have the uh, slingshot gimmick. So the original is, is like completely metal, and then they gave it edge. So that's even worse in my opinion. This is the whole combo. This is 39.43 grams. Then we have the Switch Strike one, 42.25 grams. So it's around like three grams heavier. So not a huge difference overall, I wouldn't say. Uh, mostly because of the driver, I wanna say maybe. Let's see the driver weight. So this is 5.1 grams. This is 7.87 grams. So that little bit of metal actually makes a big difference compared to the edge driver, which has no metal. That's where the turbo version makes a little bit of like a comeback with its weight. If they'd given the Switch Strike 1 an actual wedge, it would be a lot heavier. Now we're going to battle the Beyblades because I really want to see which one is actually better when it comes to battling. So let's get right into this and we're going to go to five points and we're going to find out which version is better. All right, here we go, round one. I'm going to alternate the launches. There it is, looks pretty good when it's spinning. Comment below, who's gonna win? It's turbo or Switch Strike? I think Switch Strike, honestly. Based on my last video with Asteroid Zutron, I'm gonna say Switch Strike. Oh no! Oh no, the Edge Driver made it scrape and it lost, so it's 1 0. Unfortunately, Edge just is going to really make this combo have a hard time because it's one of the worst drivers if they could have given it. There we go, one to one. Uh -oh. Whoa, we just switched a little bit into its turbo mode, or slingshot mode, I mean. Oh no, it's scraping again. Oh no! Two to one, wow. Come on. Gotta burst it, come on. Oh no, it's off balance again. Alright, I think Slingshot or Switch Strike has this one. I think Tide Trip has it. There we go, two to two. this round Ooh, I think uh, turbo had that so three to two uh oh off balance here we go this is just so back and forth there's not like a clear winner right now. I think, I think, uh, Switch Strike won that one, so it's three to three. Hard hits, but no burst yet. Oh my gosh, four to three, it's back and forth. Four to four.
Oh, Switch Strike actually won that. So the score is five to four. So the winner of this battle is the Switch Strike one. They're like practically the same Beyblade though. It's kind of insane. Like there's not a huge difference, I don't think really. I mean, this one is two grams heavier. I'm going to do a battle video where I put the Switch Strike Tide Trap Tune versus the Takara Tomy Screw Trident. So stay tuned for that, guys, because it's coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.